about 50 years ago, a most miraculous discovery was made. Known as the Book of Giants, it is an antediluvian narrative that has long been hunted by adventurers and archaeologists alike. Attributed to the writings of a character known as Manny, the Book of Giants had long been known as a real body of work which circulated among the ancient Manicheans. During the 20th century, discoveries of tiny fragments of this original work began to reveal the Book of Giants' actual existence. Fragments of Dead Sea Scrolls containing the actual Book of Giants were first discovered at Turfan, now known as Turpin, a city located within the east of China. These fragments substantiated the many references to its existence within other literature and finally confirmed its existence beyond doubt. People of all walks of life began to devote their lives to the discovery of these incredible texts, texts which apparently documented the life and death of an ancient race of giants who called themselves the Wild Men. It is an expansive narrative of the birth of immortal giants on Earth. In this story, the giants came into being when the sons of God had children with mortal women, subsequently birthing a hybrid race of giants. These giants partook in destructive and immoral actions, which slowly devastated humanity. When Enoch heard of this, he was distressed and asked God to bring judgment to the giants. When the giants heard this, many chose to act in defiance. While these fragments were incomplete at this point, the Manichaean literature ends the story by telling of the hosts of God beating the race of giants in battle. An incredible story, one which dates back from far within our ancient past. In 1971, J.T. Millick discovered several Aramaic fragments of Enochic works among Dead Sea Scrolls at a site known as Qumran. Among the fragments discovered were ten manuscripts of the Book of Giants. These fragments were found in six different caves which dotted the site. These scroll discoveries allowed for further refinement of the works and is now seen as a virtually complete ancient text. Is this story yet more compelling proof of an ancient race of giants who once dwelled and later perished here upon our planet? Or perhaps just a religious fairy tale? Regardless of this, it is an impressive and amazing story in its own right, one which has managed to survive untold millennia to reach us in the modern day. A story many people throughout history saw it incredibly important to preserve and communicate to others. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, take care.